Hello, this is the Best Mac Tutorials, and this is my fifth um, Answers.com question. And um, this will probably be my last one for today. Um, probably won't get it uploaded till tomorrow. Anyway, it asks, what is a Java program to convert temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius? So, um, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So, it didn't say either way, it just said Fahrenheit to Celsius. So to get from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you deduct 32 from the Fahrenheit value, you multiply it by 5, and then you divide it by 9. So, or you multiply it by 5 ninths, either one. I'm going to do each step separately to make it simpler, although you could do it all in one line of code, the whole calculation. So I'm going to import, I'm going to just assume it wants a user inputted value, so import, import, java.util.wildcard, scanners, uh, in, not sin, in, equals new scanner, system.in. And so now we have our scanner object created. We'll do a system to out dot println statement. Um, what Fahrenheit? Hope I spelled that right. Yes, I did. Okay. What Fahrenheit temperature would you like converted to Celsius? And then we're going to have an integer, say um, d, equals in dot next int. And so when they enter, you know, say 47 or whatever, um, 47 is now assigned to D. So D now holds, imagine a little box called D. It now holds the value 47 or whatever they input. So now you're going to do your math. So you're going to say uh, integer converted equals um, D minus 32. Then converted. Notice how I declared it already with an int. Now I don't have to say it. It's an int again. Converted equals converted divided by 5, converted equals converted times, wait, no, I got this wrong. It's times 5, and then divided by 9. And then we're going to do system.out.println. Your converted value is plus, I'm going to put my semicolon right there, plus, and then converted. And hopefully this works right. And so if you run it, um, if we have 0 degrees Celsius, it's exactly 32 Fahrenheit. So let's enter 32 Fahrenheit. Convert a value of 0. We could also put, um, to make it more clear, plus degrees Celsius. There we go. So now if we run it, say we enter... Uh, 32, 0 degrees Celsius. Now, say we do 52, 11 degrees Celsius. And say we do 100, 37. Now, I would like to point out an issue here. 100 converted to Celsius is actually 37.7777 yeah, recurring. And the problem is that we used an int here. Now, if we used a double we get more precision. It wouldn't round it, or actually it truncates, I suppose. So we'll just do doubles here, in dot next, double. And now they can enter really large values as well. And so, say we have, um, uh, what was it, uh, 100. Ta-da! It now presents an actual, a more accurate number with a decimal, now that we convert it to a double. Because a double is, um, a uh, much larger amount of memory used to hold that variable, and it can have a decimal value. And that's the really nice thing about doubles, is um, not only can they hold numbers bigger than an integer can, way bigger, um, they can also hold de um, decimals, which is extremely helpful. So say we enter, you know, whatever. Ta-da! Converted. Fast, easy, and with a decimal. And so if we convert something that will give us, say, a whole number, like... Um, we can also import input a decimal now uh, for a Fahrenheit, say uh, seven six two four seven point six uh, degrees Fahrenheit will give us forty two thousand three hundred forty two degrees Celsius. Ta da! If it has no decimal after it, well, it has a decimal of zero, it'll put point zero. It won't put point zero 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 etc. Or it won't just truncate it. It'll, it will put point zero since we're using a double. So that is um, the program to...
convert uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. If you wanted to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, you would just kind of do it in reverse. You would just um, you'd start multiplying it by 9, then dividing it by 5, then you'd add 32 to it, essentially. And then you'd have Celsius to Fahrenheit. And so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.